Okay, coach. At first, when you receive the offer, and then of course you did some research, right? So, what is your first impression on our team? Um, my first impression on the team, to be honest, was I like how the the spirit they have. They are competitive, but they lack the experience of international games. So I took this offer as a challenge because I want a challenge. I want to improve. I want to put my my fingerprints on on this. You know, there's a lot of uh, women who know how to kick the ball, how to run. But for the intelligence of the game, how long did you need? Do you need to take to to them for to adapt? Um, to be honest, it depends on the players. I, I cannot tell you a specific duration. It depends on the individual performance and team performance. So once I see all the players and once I select the group of, for the national team, then I can decide what is the needed duration. But of course, the development phase needs time. It, it will be built step by step. Did you aware that the margin of senior players and young players is very high? here in Malaysia. So how do you plan to, to blend them? Um, of course, this is a very important thing to how to close the gap between the young players and the senior players. But the good thing and that I saw today, um, the younger players are not afraid from competing the, the old players. So that's what I like. And that makes me feel more comfortable if I want to mix young players and senior players in the national team. Because on the long term, the young players are the most important now to develop. Yeah. So uh, today, do you see any players that can be Polish for the national team? Yes, of course. So uh, like you said, you want to find the younger the young one, young players. Yes. So the existing players in the national team, you say, uh, need them. Um, yes. Of today, uh, actually, we were looking for three national teams, as we have the under 17 national teams, have the AFC qualifiers, we have the under 20 national team, and we have the seniors. So uh, all the players are very important today, uh, whether they are uh, young or they are seniors. So we we can then distribute them on the under 17, under 20, and the seniors. In their Instagram to new new women's football tournament, so the preparation will yeah. do the training camp or so. The women's uh, foot, um, the clubs competition, you mean the World Cup clubs? It's a very big step from FIFA, and I think um, we are starting now because we're gonna launch the women's top league. So it's a good starting point because if we one day want to reach the uh, club World Cup. I think this is the starting point from here. Then we move to professionalism. Then we can uh, hopefully participate in AFC and FIFA clubs competition. Yeah. In what aspect you impressed the most today? Today, as I told you, um, the younger players. They w I was impressed by the young players, the fighting spirit they have, um, the mental side that they know that they are playing against not only Older, older players, but senior national team players, when young players play against, they have the mental toughness to play and to compete. So this, I was impressed. There's a lot of positive feedback yesterday when FM introduced you. So what can you say to our fans, Malaysian fans? Well, it's an honor. Um, of course, I thank the media very much for uh, its coverage, and I just learned that uh, it's not the first time, but it's it's new that the media comes to women's football. I hope the media stays this way to support us to empower women's football more and more. Um, and I hope I see I say to the fans, I hope to fulfill to fulfill their expectations and to be uh, to do achievements with uh, Malaysia.